Hey kids, in this episode, we're surviving a storm. We're gonna talk a little bit about my anchor watch software. We're gonna do a little aerial flyby over the boat so you can see what the harbor looks like. But first, let's get to the storm. Miss Lily and I are up on deck right now. As you can see, there's a great big storm rolling in. Now this storm is actually supposed to have hit uh, right where I'm at, but it looks like it's moving a little bit to the north of us. But as you can see, it's pretty nasty looking. enjoy the storm. I'm also up here where I can start the engine very quickly. Whoa, here comes the big winds. I can start the engine very quickly should my anchor not hold. My anchor rope Oh, there it is. This is a big wind they were telling us was going to hit. Blowing about 30 knots, I think, right about now. Kennel. Kennel. Come on, get down there. Come on. Keep her safe down below. I'm gonna weather the storm out up here on deck so I can I can keep an eye on things. I've got everything set up so I can start the engine very quickly should I need to. Try to keep the bow up in the wind should the anchor break loose, but Starting to rain. Ooh, oh no, now I'm sideways. Yep, I think my anchor just went. Oh crap. Nope.
like I'm dragging a little bit. Feels like it caught again. You gotta be prepared for situations like this. Sometimes these storms blow up, these little microbursts and stuff. You gotta be prepared to come up on deck and get wet. You gotta stand out here in the rain and keep an eye on things. The boat over here to my side seems to be bouncing back and forth on the anchor as much as I am. That catamaran just sitting dead still straight into the wind. Seas are picking up. We now have uh, about one foot waves here in the bay. Worry some time, kids. Worry some time. Where I'm positioned, and I particularly stayed out here for a reason, I have lots of room behind me. Should my anchor drag, I've got lots of room to recover. In fact, I've got a big bay over in that direction that I can run to that uh, hopefully will uh, uh, get me in the lee of the land over here to the, uh, what would that be? South of me, I guess in there and maybe get out of the wind a little bit. forward. I don't know, my anchor alarm looks like I'm, I don't know if you can see that anchor alarm down there. My anchor alarm shows that I'm holding. So maybe that boat on to the side of me has uh, sailed up on their anchor. They moved up on it a little bit. That sometimes will happen. The wind will get you from the side and you'll actually go forward. So all right, wind waves are up about a foot and a half now. Bow is bouncing up and down. I got everything behind me all secured. Everything on the boat's all fattened out. See, I have my little cart. It's all tied in. The dinghy's I let out a little bit of painter. It's back there hiding in the in the lee of the sailboat, so it doesn't get too much of a purchase on it because it's just staying right behind this boat. For the most part, Woo. there's supposed to be a lightning and thunder uh, component to this storm. It rains 
picking up. Shut down my hatch to reduce rain getting down below. Yeah, that sail boot goes slip back. Okay, so we're, we're not moving. All right, now I'm getting a little sideways again. I'm going to break loose and see what's going to happen. Waves jerking that line up. Yanking that anchor up off the ground. Trying to anyway. Yeah, it's holding. It's pulling the bow back into the wind. All right, rock that. Way to go. I do have my spare anchor set up here. There's my little one. It's all set up on some anchor line as a backup. I could throw that out should my uh, primary anchor up front break loose. I'm prepared to take my backup anchor up there, although my backup anchor is a little tiny anchor. And uh, this is why it's always a good idea to have a really big storm anchor available to you. That's why when you have days like today where you see there's a big storm coming, this is where you go out and you run out there and you drop your really big storm anchor that's going to hold you. So even though I've got a 33-pound rock now out there, if I were to buy a storm anchor, I'd want to buy something in the 55 to 75-pound range and just keep it as a backup. All right, rain's picking up pretty good. I'm out here filming with my little uh, GoPro session. It's waterproof, so it can hold up to the rain. And, of course, I'm a human being. I'm waterproof. Clothes will get wet, but they'll dry again. All right, big wind right now. Big wind right now. A little sideways to make me nervous. I'm going to drag. It's going to happen right now. And... Oh, bow's moving back around into the into the into the wind. I'd say we're down around 15 mile an hour winds at the moment. I can tell you that rain hurts when it hits you. My anchor alarm is, is holding beautifully. I'm not experiencing any movement whatsoever. According to my anchor alarm, I am right exactly where I'm supposed to be. Let me show you that. You see that down below there? You can see the anchor alarm. It's showing me right where I'm supposed to be. So. Whew. Big raindrops. Alright. Well, time to get dried off. Hope you guys enjoyed being out here and watching this storm. I said I hope you guys enjoyed being out here watching this storm with all the rain coming down. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of rain out here. Well, I should get my bar of soap out, my shampoo. I can stand right here and take a bath. It's gonna rain out here in the bag, huh? Look at that. Scrub it up, three men in the tub. I could be out here taking a bath in this stuff. Don't have my soap back there, but I got it buried put away right now. I had it all packed up because I didn't want to get blown over the bay. Blown out of the boat. Man. This is good bathing weather. Good shower weather. Looks like standing in your shower at home. <laughs> Well, guys, I am pretty well soaking wet. <laughs> but, you know, that's life out here in the bay. And when you uh, live aboard a boat, you got to be able to be prepared for this kind of stuff. you got to kind of expect this to happen from time to time. You're going to have a little rain in it every life, you know? Into every life, a little weather's gonna come. You can either rail about it and piss and moan about it, or you can just kick back and enjoy it. 
right now I'm kind of enjoying this. It's kind of cool standing out here in the rain out in the middle of the bay. I mean, I'm literally standing out here in the middle of the bay, okay? Look how far I am from land in almost all directions. I'm a good half a mile or so. I don't know, I'll have to get on Google Earth and measure where I'm at. I bet you I'm a half a mile or so from the nearest land, just standing out here on water. I guess that makes me Jesus. I'm standing on water. <laughs> oh, I know. All the religious whack jobs are going to get all over me now for that, but still. Kind of cool standing out here in the bay. Just looking around all the boats and enjoying a good shower. It's warm. It's like uh, 75, 78 degrees, something like that. Very, very comfortable right now. Not cold, not hot. Kind of thinking about going for a swim. But the bay is a little rough right now. With the waves kicking up and stuff, the, probably not a good idea to go for a swim with all this movement in the water. Plus, I got my ladder pulled up and I got everything prepped for the storm. Um, yeah, maybe I'll go down below and watch a movie. Or maybe I'll take this video and edit it and upload a video for you guys to watch. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, that's what the forecast was going to show. The forecast said that it was supposed to be a big wind coming in initially, uh, going to 20 to 30 knots, somewhere in there, and then backing down to 15. We had to 15. Now we're back down to about 10. And so it's going to hang out here around 10 knots or, or thereabouts. And it's supposed to do that for the next couple of hours. As the day goes on or as the night goes on, it's supposed to drop down to a lot less than that. It's supposed to get down to like five or six mile an hour winds and uh, pretty much settle down. So. so with that said, I'm going to go in for the evening. Well, the wind did lay down, but as you can see, it's still raining here on the boat. It's been raining the entire time I've been editing this video. I thought you guys might like to see some of the aerial footage that we shot a couple days earlier on a beautiful bright sunny day. So let's go ahead and cut to that. Here we are taking off from the good ship Lily 2. I bring the, the drone up slightly. I had it there on the deck and then moved it away from the rigging to get clear of all that. The boat's a bit of a mess. I, I really wasn't prepared to clean it up for the video. So you see my socks hanging there on the lifeline and all. It is what it is guys. This boat needs to be repainted. It needs a lot of cleanup, and we're getting to it. So, this is a Lagoon 41 that's been here in the bay. It's still here, not tied up next to me. A three-master schooner there. And just a little bit of a tour around the uh, the bay. But first, we're gonna we're gonna circle the Lily 2, so you can see her in all of her glory. <laughs> yeah, I need to clean up. I know. But she's functional and she's fun, but it's all tore up right now because we're trying to get work done to the boat. So everything is not where it should be. Anyhow, let's go up a little higher. We can get a better view of uh, the, the bay here. This is Manhasset Bay, Port Washington, New York. That's the town up there on the hill in front. Now we're looking into Sitsink and Manor Haven that way. And around the Tom's Point and Sands Point and back to the boat. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video of me surviving the storm. Please do like and subscribe and check out the links to Patreon and PayPal down below should you want to contribute to the cause. All donations greatly appreciated. Folks, you have a really good day.